human race is the most successful species of all time. We've done just about everything there is to do on Earth. But what still baffles scientists is, how do we get so advanced as a species? And how can we learn about the origins of our ancestors? Our journey began 30 million years ago in Africa, where the primate lineage diversified to include the great apes and our early ancestors. Australopithecus afarensis was the first to appear, and the first bipedal ancestor native to the savanna. Homo habilis came next, creating crude stone tools and eating meat, followed by Homo erectus, the first hunter-gatherer and fire user, and the last common ancestor to the three primary groups of human, Neanderthals, Denisovans, and Homo sapiens, our species. Neanderthals were shorter, robustly built humans adapted to the cold climates of West Eurasia. They went extinct around 40,000 years ago due to competition with our species. We Homo sapiens were capable of abstract thought, advanced weaponry, and a complex culture, giving us an upper edge in evolution. We lived in Africa until about 60,000 years ago when we migrated out to Eurasia. The little we know about Denisovans is solely from DNA analysis, but we do know that they lived across East Asia and were related to Neanderthals. We've learned that these three groups interbred, leading to some genes being swapped and passed down generations. For example, every non-African today is up to 2% Neanderthal, and Australian Aboriginals, Papuans, and Melanesians are up to 4-6% Denisovan. Well, how do we know so much about our ancestors, despite them living several millennia ago? Well, that's where DNA sequencing comes in. Let's start with the basics. DNA is genetic information stored in almost all our cells' chromosomes in a specific order of bases A, T, C, and G. It acts as a code with certain combinations create certain features in an organism. DNA is carefully sequenced by isolating a DNA sample and then amplifying it by methods like the polymerase chain reaction, which can create billions of copies of it. Special machines called gene sequencers then read the order of bases in the DNA and line them up to make sense of them. Scientists can then compare this to modern human DNA and look for differences or similarities, which can indicate a variety of adaptations and mutations in the genome. Think of the bases in DNA as pieces of a jigsaw puzzle. By themselves, they might look like a bunch of random shapes, but when put together, they begin to reveal the bigger picture, or in this case, the traits and features of an organism. The person assembling the puzzle is like the process of DNA sequencing. They translate the gene information to their corresponding traits. Through this, we've learned that the gene EPAS1, inherited from Denisovans, has helped Tibetans breathe in high altitude, low oxygen climates. We've also learned that genes contributing to diabetes and arthritis have come from Neanderthals. By sequencing ancient DNA, we not only understand the origins of diseases in human populations, but also how the disease has evolved over time, and how our immune system has evolved in response. Ancient DNA sequencing is a promising technology that is like a time machine into our past, uncovering the long-lost secrets of humanity, and finally helping us understand what it means to be human. Thank you for watching.